Hello everyone, welcome to Buckeye Boners. Basically, we just changed the YouTube channel name from my name to Buckeye Boners. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a super cheap, very effective deer mix that's uh, dry, that only takes a few ingredients that you can make at home without a lot of ingredients, and it's super cheap, and it's one of the major things that helped me shoot that buck right over my shoulder. So what you're gonna need for this is some sugar, some salt, and several jello packets. That's literally all it takes, and this is super cheap. This is $1.47, 40 cents, and 25 cents for the rest of them. So that's like $3 and some change. So that's really cheap, and it doesn't take much money to get this started. So I like to make a smaller amount and then mix it in with some corn or beans or some other things. But means that this is a dry mix, this is the only ingredients that you need. So pull out the outdoor edge knife, razor light EDC, and get the sugar. I'm gonna open this thing up. Won't need the knife for the sugar, but try to do this without making a mess here. You're gonna wanna pour a little over half of this thing into a bag or a box of some sort. Generally, you'd wanna do this over a sink if you can, just to avoid spillage as much as possible, so. Right there, that should be about enough. And that is, basically covers it up a couple inches from the bottom of the gallon Ziploc bag. Then salt, I usually put in a whole thing of salt, so time for the outdoor edge. You gotta be careful when you do this. This knife's not near as sharp as it was a couple days ago because I gutted two deer with it in the last week and was just working on the skin and European mount. So that's why the knife isn't nearly as sharp. Okay, just pop the lid off and basically pour all the salt into the bag. So these two things are done. Still got about this much of the sugar left. And if you just bought one just for this, may as well pour all the sugar in. So then we have two strawberries and one orange jello packet. It doesn't have to be strawberry or orange, but those are the colors that I prefer. You can get apple, you can get probably cherry, I kind of forget, but these are just kind of the standard that they have them at Dollar General. I think that's where we got these and they're like 25 cents a piece. So they're super cheap and they smell really good. So just pop them open, tear them up, tear off the corner, just pour it right in there. That's the one orange, that wasn't quite empty, but then got two strawberries, just gonna finish pouring that in here. So, whatever, this is trash, and we still have some of the sugar left. But Mom still wants the sugar, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna finish putting in the sugar, but I can't tell you how many times I've zipped these things up and Good while later, I've been walking around and it opens up, bag opens up and it, it spills everywhere. It's not fun, but you gotta make sure that it's sealed off because if it's not sealed off at one spot, it, that whole thing will leak. So basically just mix it all in now. You wanna get it all good and mixed up so that it's not certain ingredients on a pile where there's others are not anywhere. So, so there you go. Now that I got this all mixed up, I'm gonna flatten it out, then roll it tight like this, and then seal it up again, and that will just keep it um, air airtight to keep it, and it'll last longer that way. So when you pick it up, you can see there's hardly any air in there. That's exactly what you want. You can roll that over there, stash it away until you need it, and you're gonna put it out. So there you go. That's literally how simple and quick and cheap and easy it is to put together a really quick, super effective deer mix. I've been putting this out at the farm that we hunt since a year and a half ago, two years ago, and we got, we've literally gotten thousands of trail camera pictures over just this mix with those three ingredients. The deer that you see right over my right shoulder was actually shot about 100 yards from a site where we had been using this and putting this out every so often. So I like to apply this by either pouring out some corn on the ground and mixing this in with the corn, or even just pouring it out on the ground by itself or pouring it out on the ground and mixing it in with a shovel or your boots or something like that. So the buck that you see right over my shoulder was shot about 100 yards from a site where we had been putting this out fairly consistently. If you wanna see that hunt, you gotta stay tuned to about February or March when we're gonna be dropping 
a video series about our deer season, Cody and I's deer season, and maybe a couple of our friends, people that I video sometimes. Smoke city baby right there. We went about 80 yards. <laughs> How about it, dude? Thanks for tuning into this episode. If you want to subscribe, you can do that by just clicking right over here. And if you want to see our playlist of our deer hunting videos from last year, you can just go ahead and click right over there. Thanks for watching. Buckeye Bowliners.